What's up, you guys? <clears throat> my name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. Um, this is for the sign of Virgo for uh, January 2023. This will resonate with Virgo in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Mid Haven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate. Leave the rest. Um, free general collect reading for sign of Virgo. Love you guys so much. I do, I do, I do. Who? Thanks for all the new subscribers. Thanks for all the love and support to my channel. All the sharing on social media and word of mouth is really helping my channel grow. We're almost to 16,200 subscribers. So I appreciate all the love and support to my little business. Thanks so much, you guys. Um, if you like to donate to High Priestess to Row 5, the link's in the description box below. If you see any of the WhatsApp people down there talking shit like, um, oh, hey, Divine Beings, um, Here's my WhatsApp. I want to give you a reading. Blah, 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 blah. It's not me. They use my YouTube picture and my YouTube handle, but it's not me. So if you want to be scammed, you're welcome to donate to them, but it's not me. Uh, it's a huge ass scam. So just let everybody know, okay? I have reported all the ones to YouTube that I've seen on my channel so far. But if you see one down there, talk about a WhatsApp number and using my handle and my picture, feel free to report it. Um, or ignore it, however you want to do it. Or you can donate to it, but it's not me, okay? I love you guys so much. If you need anything from me, everything's in the description box below. All right, Virgo. We have crack cups, dissatisfaction with life, gavel, involvement with the law, crib, birth or conception of a child or enterprise. I did receive one channel message as I was meditating on your energy. Um, I heard a um, Virgo that heavily worked intentionally heavily intentionally worked against a single mother head of household in their community in the past i heard now they're about to help her so that could be you or somebody you're connected to but a virgo um that heavily worked against a single mother head of household in their community um heavily worked against this person so i think maybe lied on them or um maybe slander their name like defamation of character or something i heard now they're about to help them they're about to help them so whoever this virgo is to you for some i feel you could be the virgo that did this for some it could be a virgo you know um however this resonates in applause but there's a reason this virgo is about to start helping now huge reasons okay i heard oh that's confirmation i heard huge reasons there's huge reasons they're helping now but it sounds like in the past they had no problems, no qualms working against this person. But there's huge reasons now. So I feel there was an energy shift there or there's about to be. I feel for a lot of these situations there's already been an energy shift. Turtle, panther, for some you can be dealing with another earth sign or a fire sign. If you are, they have Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, or Aries, Leo, Sag, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Mayhem, Jupiter charts. This is earth sign energy. This is fire sign energy. You plug in how it resonates. Virgo. But whoever this single mother had a household is, if you're this Virgo or somebody else, it is a person in their community they intentionally worked against in the past. I wonder if for some of these Virgos, it's that Virgo fan middle school teacher that is a sex trafficker, uh, possibly. Um, I, I didn't hear it was, but I feel intuitively for one of these situations, it may be. Joy, number 22, could be a very significant number in one's life. Number 22, it could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 22, Joy. For one, you're a very, very, very good reader. 20, 20, in the 20,000 subscriber mark on YouTube, you're a femme energy. You're about to receive a box of tarot cards. And for one Virgo, you're about to send a box of tarot cards and other items to a very, very, very good femme energy YouTube tarot reader. Teens. Teens subscriber count. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. Wow. 
So one of you guys, you're a Virgo fam, very, very good tarot reader on YouTube. Uh, you are you have 20,000 subscriber mark. So I think your subscriber mark, uh, subscriber mark, subscriber count could be like 20,000 to 29,099 possibly. Um, however that resonates and applies. But I feel you're somewhere between 20,000 subscribers to 29,099 is what I'm feeling. You're somewhere in between that range, but you're a very good um, tarot reader, ma'am. You're a fan. Somebody's about to send you a box of tarot cards. Um, that's beautiful. That's a beautiful blessing. Um, and obviously, you can use them with your work. Um, and you're obviously, you're about to get blessed because you're good at your job. Whoever you are, I think it's going to make you very happy. You're a Virgo fan. Subscriber count, 20,000 to 29,099 is what I'm feeling. You play in how it resonates. And for another one of you guys, you are a Virgo, masculine or femme, I'm feeling. And you are about to send a box of tarot cards and other items, whatever the other items are and how they resonate and apply, to a femme, femme tarot card reader on YouTube. I heard her public platform is the teens. So I'm feeling 13,000 to 19,099 subscriber mark. Um, whoever you are, only you know if you resonate with that. You can be masculine, femme, Virgo, um, have Virgo any aspects of your charts, but you in that aspect is about to send a box of tarot cards and other items, whatever items they are, to a femme tarot card reader. I'm presuming she's good too. There's a reason you're about to send them to her. Um, and I heard her subscriber count is in the teens. So I'm feeling like 13,000 to 19,099 subscriber mark. I think you watch her, is what I think. And I think it's going to make you happy to do it. It's going to be a blessing to her. How that resonates and applies. Turtle. For one, you've already cut off a tour in energy. One, you're about to. And for one, you're about to cut off a very toxic third-party Pisces energy. Very toxic. You know she is. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates. So one, you're in a third-party situation. Very toxic third-party situation, I might add. So I think she, her, she's very toxic. So... I'm feeling sex addictions, drug addictions, alcoholism, gambling, or or maybe she's uh, just a gossip train. Hell, I don't know, but somehow she's toxic. Uh, but you know she is, and she's your third party, Virgo, um, whoever you are. Only you know if you're in a toxic third party with Pisces Femme or not. Heard you're about to cut her off. Things going to make you happy to do it. I feel for some, she might have got you in legal issues in the past, um, or she's called the cops on you, or something like that. Um, there's a reason she's toxic and it's about to make you happy. Um, how that resonates and applies. And for one, you've already cut off a Taurus energy, masculine femme Taurus. They have Taurus in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, fourth day, or mid hay when Jupiter charts. One, you're about to. So there's a reason you're about to cut off the, uh, Taurus energy. I think they're coming as a turtle energy. Um, I think, um, I think they might be slow or, um, not like mentally slow, but, um, the slow energy is what I'm, I'm not, I'm not talking about mentally or physically maybe, but I think it, it was slow energetically between you and them. Let me see if I hear anything else. This tour has got you involved with very toxic things of the past. Trying to cut out toxicity. Okay, whoever you are, the one where you've already cut off the Taurus or you're about to, whoever this Taurus is, they got you involved with some very toxic things of the past. So I think, um, yeah, heavy toxicity here. It's going to make you happy to do it, um, whoever this Taurus is, okay? For one, you're about to visit an aquarium soon. For one of you guys, you're about to visit an aquarium. Oh, I love aquariums. Um, 
congratulations. Um, so maybe you'll see a turtle at the aquarium, possibly. Um, however, that resonates in the plus. Panther. A significant lawsuit from a Libra is about to become very significant and very popular online tarot card reader, Virgo tarot card reader's life. A significant lawsuit from a Libra is about to become very significant in a um, popular online Virgo tarot card reader's life. Feminine Virgo. Fem Virgo. You're a Fem Virgo and um, there's some kind of lawsuit you've already received the lawsuit energy um or you're about to from this libra um that could be the involvement of the law legal issues um you're a popular fem online ter uh, virgo tarot card reader you've already received the paperwork or the or the phone call or the communication from the legal office i'm presuming or you're about to from this libra regarding some kind of lawsuit um Whoever this Libra is to you and how this resonates, I think it's going to make you very angry or it has made you angry. Um, lawsuit energy. And you will not be successful. And you will not be successful is what I heard. Holy crap. And I heard you will not be successful. So you plug it in how it resonates. You will probably counter sue and you will win too. But somebody's about to end up in jail through this, through many shocking series of chain of events. It's in how you play your cards. Okay, so I heard you will not be successful in this lawsuit, Fem, online popular tarot card reader, Virgo. Um, but it sounds like there was, you're going to counter suit too. And I heard you will be successful too. But it sounds like there's about to be some kind of shocking series of chain of events. Somebody's about to end up in jail over this. It's all in how you play your cards with this, Virgo. You're a popular feminine online tarot card reader. It's a lawsuit from a Libra. I heard she will, it sounds like um, they're going to be successful, but you're going to counter sue and be successful too. But in all in how you play your cards, I think he or she will end up in jail over this. So the involvement with the law could be jail. It sounds like you're going to initiate series of chain events to have this person put in jail. Um, but only you know how you're going to play your cards in this, not anybody else, Virgo. You're a Virgo fan, popular online tarot card reader. You've already received legal communication from this Libra with the lawsuit, or you're about to. I think it makes you angry. It's about to. Uh, wow. A settlement from the government is about to become very significant in Leo Fem's life. Military went up against her. Unnecessarily unwarranted. unwarranted. Was very wrong. Oh my God, I heard a settlement offer from the government is about to become very significant in the Leo Finn's life. Uh, whoever this Leo Finn is to you and not anybody else, um, Virgo, only you know who she is to you. But I heard the military went up against her. The military did, unwarranted, unnecessary, and wrong, basically. Um, the military, um, why the military went up against, against their own citizen? Because of lies. Okay, the military went up against their own citizen because of lies. So the military, um, United States, United States. Oh my God, this happened in the United States. It already happened. The military, United States military went up against a Leo feminine. So a fem energy, unnecessarily unwarranted and out of line, basically, against their own citizen. And I heard it was unwarranted. So... For some, but it sounds like she's about to get a settlement offer soon. That could be the um, involvement with the law soon. 
um, with her. Um, a very, 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 very nice settlement. It was so wrong. Okay, I heard a very, 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 very nice settlement. It was so wrong. Um, that is terrible. What? What the hell? I heard it was over some lies. So maybe you lied on her or somebody else did. But somebody lied on her so much so that the military went up against her unwarranted, unnecessarily. And I think it caused some kind of in, uh, injury is what I feel. There's a reason the government is about to offer her a very, 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 very nice settlement. And there's a reason the military went up against their own citizen unwarranted over lies. What? Uh, for some, it can make you angry or for some, it makes her angry or for some, somebody's angry over the situation. This is terrible. This is terrible. And whoever the hell did this strictly because of lies, I, um, I'm sure they're going to get negative karma because of this, because this is terrible. A particular Virgo is very ashamed over this. Very ashamed. A particular Virgo, ex-military. A particular Virgo in the ex-military, uh, that is ex-military, is very ashamed over this. So one of you guys are ex-military and you're very ashamed that this happened. But it sounds like it happened where the military went up against their own damn citizen, unwarranted, unnecessarily, and out of line, over lies. Somebody lied in this situation, which is terrible. So much so it caused the military to go up against their own citizen? What the holy hell is going on here? And that's just the truth. Somebody needs some jail and some prison. Crack cup, dissatisfaction with life. For one of you, you're about to create many shocking series of shame events to get a Pisces fan locked up. For one of you guys, you're about to create many shocking series of shame events to get a Pisces feminine locked up. So one of you guys, you're heavily dealing with some kind of toxic Pisces fem. They can have Pisces in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Midham, Jupiter, Charts. But for one, you're about to create some kind of shocking series of shame events to get her locked up. So this is jail in this aspect. Um, you are about to create series of chain events to get her locked up i think you're angry with her over per, uh over situation or situations um it could be that military situation or something else but some kind of pisces fem energy wow crack up to satisfaction with life For one, your family member is about to be exposed as a sex trafficker and they will be locked up. And they will not be able to get out. No bond. A uh, danger to society. A Virgo needs to hear this. Oh my God. For one of you guys, you're, um, you have a family member that's a sex trafficker. For some, it's two, two plus family members. Okay, for some of you guys, it's one family member about to get locked up for sex trafficking. And I heard no bond, no bail. They're a danger to society. And absolutely they are. That's mental instability at its finest if you're choosing to sex traffic a person or people. Whether they're carted off like modern day human slavery and kidnapped and forced into prostitution. Or somebody does it through a legal hidden voyeur camera and sneakily snaps photos of their naked body. To put on the dark web. And I'm just being for real. Because that is. A danger to society. And that just truly is. And that's just true. But one of you guys. It's one of your family members. About to get locked up. With no bond. No bail. They're a danger to society. With human sex trafficking. One is two. Two plus. Only you know your situation story. Not anybody else. But. 
Um, you're about to learn about this, Virgo. It's not you. It's either one family member of yours or two or two plus. Dissatisfaction with life. I think they're going to be very dissatisfied with life. Or maybe for one, you're going to you're going to experience public humiliation when people find out your family member or family members are human and sex traffickers. How that resonates and applies. But heavy jail energy and heavy legal issues here. I think they're probably going to end up in prison. They will definitely end up in prison for many series of shame events. Way too much evidence. Okay, it's confirmation. They will definitely end up in prison for many series of shame events. Um, there's too much evidence. So I think they're about to be dissatisfied with life because they're about to be exposed as a human sex trafficker. And I think you're about to be dissatisfied with life because I think people might find out that you, your family member or members, are human sex traffickers. And I think it's going to publicly humiliate you. That you are about to be connected to somebody like this. Um, or you might be happy they'll get locked up. For one, you might help them get locked up. Only you know your situation story now anybody else. But um, I would help my family members get locked up. And that's just the truth. I don't care who you are. Bloodline related or not. If you're a human sex trafficker, your ass should be behind bars and never get out. And that's just the truth. Gavel, involvement with the law. For one, you're about to learn about a, a mistress about to kill a wife. One is in your small town. For one, it's in somebody else's small town. This person will have the gavel thrown at them. Wow. You plug it in how it resonates. I was picking that up in Pisces reading. Um, okay, so for one, I don't know if you're going to learn about this on the news or through... a the small town or through somebody else or social media or what have you, what have you. But somebody um, is about to kill their um, their third party's wife. It's a femme energy mistress about to kill a femme legally married spouse to a masculine, basically. That's what I picked up in Pisces uh, reading. It hasn't happened yet. It's upcoming. And it is in a small town. So this is the same energy I'm picking up in here in Virgos. Um, it hasn't happened yet, but it's upcoming. But for one, I feel you might live in this small town. Because I heard one you do. One, you live in another small town and you're about to hear about it. So if you live in the other small town, I think you might hear about it on the news or through somebody else, through Water Mouth, through Grapevine, or, um, or what have you, what have you. But for one, you actually live in this small town where... The mistress is about to kill the legally married femme spouse of the masculine. Um, one you don't. But heavy small town energy here. The one that's about to occur, murder is about to occur, it is in a small town for sure. But I heard this person will have the gavel thrown at them, involvement with the law. Um, hopefully, I, I mean, this is, this is something. I think for one of you guys, it's about to make you happy when you learn about it, that she's about to get locked up. Um, I want... That's mental instability at its finest. I wonder if she's going to claim mental insanity um, for the murder. I mean, I don't know. But um, yikes. I'm just saying. Crib, a birth or conception of a child or enterprise. For one, the, uh, for one, your masculine energy and a partner that lives with you in your home, they're about to find past internet links and past internet chat with the Libra feminine pretending to be a Leo feminine. 
It's about to give this person, this femme energy, a huge ass wake up call of the past. Oh my, what the holy hell is going on here? Um, very sexual, very sexual. Oh, okay. Okay, so one, you're a Virgo masculine and you live with a femme energy in your household. I think um, she's your partner. Um, I think she's your partner is what I think, whether you're, you know, common law or legally married or what have you, what have you. But um, she's about to find some kind of past internet chat history or emails or what have you, what have you, and some kind of link, internet link of some kind of sexual link or links. Um, where a Libra feminine was pretending to be a Leo femme to turn you on, to turn you on. Oh, she was, the Leo, uh, the Libra feminine was pretending to be a Leo femme to turn you on in the past. Um, if this resonates for you, but you know, the femme energy that you currently live with, I'm mean, presuming it's not the Libra femme or the Leo femme. They're about to find all this shit, whether it's chat history, emails, link or links or what have you, what have you. And they're about to find it soon. And they're about to find it soon. Um, and I heard it's going to give him a huge wake-up call of the past. Um, I think it's going to make him angry. It made me angry, and that's just the damn truth. Wow, that's some fucked up shit. Why is somebody else pretending to be somebody else in the sexual department? And I'm just being for real. She's going to spread it around to people you do not want her to spread it around to, and it's about to go fast. And this Libra feminine career and her reputation is about to tank. Okay, so the femme energy that you live with, when she finds this, she's going to spread it around to many people that I guess you know, she knows, or the Libra femme knows. Um, and it's basically going to tank the Libra femme's career and her reputation. So I think she might be a high member of your community or somebody else's community, some kind of high stature. Um, and it's about to embarrass the hell out of a Taurus. And it's about to embarrass the hell out of a Taurus. I heard it's about to embarrass the hell out of a Taurus, too. So, somehow a Taurus energy is um, connected to this Libra femme, but the person you live with, Virgo masculine, is about to do this. Um, how this resonates and applies. Why is the Libra feminine pretending to be a Leo femme in the sexual department? If you might need to hear that. What? For one, you've already started a new business. For one, you're about to. For one, you've already started a new uh, business. One, you're about to. So birth or conception of an enterprise is business aspect here. One, you've already started a business. One, you're about to. So if you've already started it or you're about to, uh, I think you're going to obtain a business license to do it. Or at least I hope you are, unless it's an illegal business. Just saying, just saying. You can obtain business licenses in your local um area um they're very cheap very cheap just let y'all know um a younger libra feminine pregnant is very significant in virgo's life a younger Libra feminine pregnant is very significant in a Virgo's life. So some kind of younger Libra femme. I feel like she could be like 18 to 35, have Libra in any aspects of her charts. Some some she might could be a minor, but I didn't hear she was. But um, she's definitely at least, I'm feeling at least 18 to 35 if she's not a minor. But she's a Libra femme and she's pregnant. Somehow significant in your life, Virgo. Whoever she is and how she's connected to you. For one, you're about to find out about a secret child soon. That's yours. They are yours. For one, you're about to find out about a secret child soon that is yours. 
So I was picking that up strong a couple weeks ago in another reading. A lot of signs, a lot of masculines are about to find out they have secret children. Some two, two plus children. Um, so for one of you guys, you're Virgo masculine. You're about to find out you have a secret child. I heard it is yours. Um, I wonder if you're going to get a paternity test just to make sure I would if I was you. Of course, you could take the advice or leave it. Okay. So legal, I think child support. Child support is about to be taken out for this child. Or it should be. Just saying, just saying. Joy. For one, your wife, legally married wife, is pregnant with baby three, some pregnant with baby four. It makes you very happy. Oh, well, congratulations. Wow, Virgo. You're Virgo masculine. You're Virgo masculine. Well, congratulations. Um, at least two of you Virgo masculines, um, you're legally married. Uh, so it's not common law. It's legally married. Um, some, your wife is uh, pregnant with baby three, some baby four. So in this aspect, birth of, of pregnancy, pregnancy, actual pregnancy. I heard it's, uh, it makes you very happy. So joy, happy, happy, joy, joy, like Ren and Sippy, if anybody knows that. I'm 39. I'm an old chickadoo, but I love Ren and Sippy. Just saying, just saying. It makes you very happy. So I think you're in a healthy, copacetic, legally married situation there. Um, and it sounds like a happy family life. And um, some, your wife is Pregnant with baby three, some baby four. It makes you very happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Just saying, just saying. For one, getting out of toxicity is about to make you very happy. For one of you guys, getting out of toxicity is about to make you very happy. So some kind of toxic situation or situations or people, person or people, it sounds like you're about to just clean house, whoever this is for. Um, and for some, I feel it's a Pisces femme um, because I was picking up a toxic Pisces femme very heavy. But who? I mean, if it's not her, it could be anybody. But one of you guys, I think you're removing toxic situation or situations out of your life. It's going to make you happy for some toxic people or person or people. But happiness to get rid of toxicity, if that resonates for you. How that resonates and applies. And for one, you're about to move states far away. It's going to make you very happy. And for one, you're about to move states, uh, relocate uh, very far away. It's going to make you very happy. So joy, happiness. You're about to relocate very far away in this aspect at least one state over, if not two or two plus. All right, I'm closing this out. I love you guys so much. Everybody have a good night and namaste.